brothers and sisters in Christ, God bless you all. I'm coming on here with a video that the Lord has been wanting me to do for a while now. Um, and I didn't know if it was noticeable to him that I was procrastinating to do this video. Um, kind of putting it off when I when I already have gotten confirmation that he he wants me to and until I you know got the word uh, last night he gave me a word that said procrastinate and so he knows us better than we know ourselves he knows you know every single little thing about us and. Uh, so I woke up today, I was still laying in my bed, and I, and I heard, you will make the video. That's what, he, that's what I heard, and it was like that. You will make the video. And so, Lord, I will make the video. <laughs> I obey you, Lord. And, um, and Lord, just please give me the right words to speak to your, to your body, Lord. Um, words that glorify your name and edify the church, Lord. And uh, just use me as a vessel to speak through, I pray in Jesus' name. So, the Bible says in many different places, um, talking about stars. But it says in Philippians 2, to do all things without murmuring without complaining, right, and disputing, that you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, the sons of God, without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom you shine as lights in the world. And that word lights, when you shine as lights in the world, it, in that verse it means luminaries or stars, if you go and look it up in the Strong's Concordance of the actual definition of the Greek word, it means luminaries or stars. It says, so So in a crooked and perverse nation, that's what we're in the midst of, among whom you shine as lights or luminaries or stars in the world, holding forth the word of life that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I may, may uh, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain, so we hold forth the word of life that he's that he's entrusted us with so that so that we can all rejoice in the day of Christ when he comes and gets us and so that we we didn't run in vain or, or labored in vain it says in psalm 9 the heavens declare the glory of god and the firmament show his handiwork you know so that none of the um the people of this world can say, you know, he doesn't exist. All you have to do is look up because the heavens themselves declare the glory of God. It says in Isaiah 40, it says, To whom then will you liken me, or shall I be equal? Saith the Holy One. You know, that word holy means separate. It means separate, right? I mean, so so the Lord God is is holy, right? Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty because he's different than the world. And he's even different than anything in heaven. So that's why the, all of the angels say, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. It means separate from everything else. So in Isaiah 40, it says, Whom then, the Lord God speaking, right? To whom then will you liken me, or shall I be equal? Saith the Holy One, lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who hath created these things, that brings out their host by number. He calls them all by names, by the greatness of his might, for that he is strong in power and not one fails. He's named every one of these stars. But the Israelites, they got in trouble for worshiping the heavens, worshiping the stars. 
that's what they got in trouble for. And in, in Amos 5, it says, Seek the Lord, and you shall live, and seek him that maketh the seven stars and Orion and, you know, all of the constellations, right? Everything we're looking at right now. Seek him that made all these things. Don't don't worship the, the creation. Worship the creator. It says he turns the shadow of death into the morning and makes the day dark with night that calls for the waters of the sea and pours them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name that strengtheneth the spoiled against the strong. It says in Psalm 104, Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, who lays the beams of his chambers in the waters, who makes the clouds his chariot, who walks upon the wings of the wind, who makes his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire. He makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flaming fire. It also says in Hebrews 1 the same thing, and, and of the angels he saith, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. The Lord wants me to, I don't usually share dreams on here. If you watch, if you've been watching my channel, I don't share all my dreams and, and very many at all. Because, um, you know, you have to make sure that they're from the Lord God. And, and these two that he wants me to share with you and testimonies that go along with it is, uh, well, I'll just show you. He wants me to share two dreams about the stars like we just read about making his ministers a flame of fire his angels spirits and so and so i also want to say um, the bible says to test the spirits we all are spirits uh, and everybody has a spirit, you know, has a soul. Um, you know, of course, unless you're like a clone or something like that, then you don't have a soul. But uh, it says to test the spirits. So I'm a spirit. And so so you all are to test me and, and test any spirit, you know, that, that comes to you. You know, say an angel comes to you and, and says something to you, you know, like you test the spirits and... So how do we test the spirits? In 1 John 4, it says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. So hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, whereof you have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. And I just got to say this as a side note. I looked at every, well, not every translation, but, but the ones that are most popular, like a lot of them. I looked at a lot of them, and only the King James Version says it in this way. Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, is of God. And I found that that strange that you know only the king james version says it says it in that way every other is like jesus christ has come in the flesh or did come in the flesh or um he came in the flesh do you know what i mean it's, it doesn't say it exactly like this so i just want to say i i am michael matsukas confess with my mouth that jesus christ is come in the flesh and i confess that jesus christ is lord that Jesus is Lord. So that you guys know that now the spirit of, of Michael has been tested, that he's of God. Brothers and sisters, I pray this video blesses you. 
I'm going to um, get right into it. I've talked uh, already for uh, almost 10 minutes. Uh, so, um, all glory, all honor, all power, and all praise to the Most High God, El, the Almighty God, El Shaddai, like we, like we saw in the last video. All glory to God. And thank you, Jesus, for giving me the opportunity to speak to your church. Bless them in Jesus' name. Okay. Okay, so actually, real quick, I'll just uh, tell you as these stars are, are on the screen. Um, on my birthday last summer, uh, it was, it was, so my birthday is July 13th. On July 12th, that night, well, it could have been in the, you know, one in the morning, two in the morning, something like that when I prayed this, but I said, Lord, I don't want anything for my birthday. All like, but if I don't get raptured tonight, like it would be really cool to get raptured for my birthday and then have my birthday in heaven. Right. <laughs> I was saying to the Lord, but I said, but if I don't get raptured tonight, at least can you give me a, a cool dream? I just ask for a, a really cool dream from you or some sort of communication, some beautiful thing from you, right? That's all I want, Lord. And and that's what I prayed that night. And so I went to sleep and I had a dream. And uh, it was awesome and amazing. And then it was confirmed a week later, the, the dream itself. And so I'm going to play the recording right now of the re actual recording that I played um, um, that night uh, or that I that I recorded that morning when I woke up at six something in the morning. Um, and I'm going to let you guys listen to it and then I'm going to show you what happened afterwards. So that's the video, uh, the part of this video you're about to see right now. All right. Okay, so I just want to show you real quick. Um, this is, you know, the recorded files. I, I record um, dreams. I'll, you know, grab my phone and uh, <clears throat> and just record the dream real fast that I just had. So it's so it's a uh, um, documented and recording uh, recorded. So uh, this is the dream that I'm talking about. And so I just want to show you. Um, that it was on my birthday and then here are the details so you see that it was the date the original date it was recorded was 7 13 21 my birthday is is 7 13 and at 6 7 a.m and so um please excuse how tired i sound in this um because it was at six in the morning and i just woke up i'm gonna play the the whole dream um there's parts of it that aren't aren't uh, uh, important to what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to play the whole dream and then um, I might go back and explain one part of it. So hang on one second. But again, just to prove, you know, that it was on uh, in 2021 last summer, uh, 7-13-2021. Um, remember that date. Okay. Okay, here we go. I hope you can hear it. I was in this dream with Sean Frazier and we were trapped with a bunch of people at this warehouse and he was mad until he realized why we were there and how good God is and that he could have that God could have just destroyed us instead of leaving us there that was part of it and then another part was that i uh was in front of Lindsay, and i showed her that that i could fly and it was like i jumped and i and it's like the camera stayed on the ground with her and saw me go all the way up in the air. And then I turned into like, like a shooting star up, up in the sky. Like I went from the ground all the way up into the air and then 
It was so small all the way up there that I turned into a shooting star. And then another part I was showing these little kids, these young kids that I could fly, and how to be saved. It was amazing. It was a great dream. Thank you, Jesus. All glory to you. Okay, so I'm going to play again um, just the part uh, about the dream with, with my friend Lindsay um, that I went to elementary school, or well, not elementary school, middle school, high school uh, with. And <clears throat> I'm going to explain part of the dream that, you know, some details that I didn't uh, explain in the original because uh, I remember it. I, I remember it clearly like it was yesterday, this dream. So let me just play it real quick and then I'll, I'll pause it. That I uh, was in front of Lindsay and I showed her that that I could fly and I was like and so in a lot of my dreams, uh, you know, people won't believe me that it's the end of the world and that that Jesus is returning and that it's really like you have to get your right, your life right with, with Jesus, you know, and uh, a lot of the time they don't believe me in my dreams. And so like I show them like, look, I can fly. And with this, it was like I showed her like, look, I can fly. And my, my it was like my feet were like at her head level. So she was looking up at me, but she was still wasn't believing she wasn't impressed she was like yeah well I, I don't know and and so i thought okay so I, I figured i'll i'll go a little bit higher but when i jumped in this next part when i jumped up and i went higher it's almost like i went too high that i didn't mean to go that high and the camera switched it's like it's like a, the 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 view was like a camera on the ground just watching her and uh and her reaction and i went so far up there I, you could see me like disappear and then i turned into just a piece of light all the way up there tiny 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 piece of light and then all of a sudden pew, i shot across the whole sky and it was one of those like shooting stars where like the tail of the shooting star like is like across the whole sky and that's what it looked like I jumped and I and it's like the camera stayed on the ground with her and saw me go all the way up in the air and then I turned into like like a shooting star up up in the sky like I went from the ground all the way up into the air and then I was so small all the way up there that I turned into a shooting star. And then another part I was showing these little... And so the camera, uh, you know, the view of, of the dream was looking at her and she was just astounded. I mean, I disappeared. I, the, it was like a shooting star that goes by, right? And she, it, the camera just showed her for a second with her mouth, like, wide open and still looking up at the sky, like, whoa. And so that's the end, the part, uh, the end of that part of the dream. Okay, so, you know, one could say, well, that was a cool dream. And, you know, just chalk it off as like a cool dream, you know, a cool flying dream. And, you know, uh, that was really cool, you know. But the Lord always proves when something's from him. He puts his stamp on it. He puts his mark on it so that, uh, you know, you can't say it's something else. Uh, you know, maybe it was just something I imagined. And, you know, I, I watched something, some YouTube video, and then it, you know, it manifested in my mind. Cause I, you know what I mean? He puts it to where only he can get the glory. The Lord God can get the glory. 
I hadn't talked in I haven't I, I didn't talked to Lindsay for years before this dream and I haven't even had a dream about her or I mean I think I've thought about her a couple of times maybe but you know what I mean N nothing uh like like that and this was somebody that I used to hang out with like every day she was she was my uh like best I, I would tell people that she's my best like girlfriend like chick friend we never really were uh you know what I mean like when when we were hanging out when we were young uh, we were never uh, like that, you know what I mean? It was always just friends. So she was my best friend, you know, girl, girl-wise, you know, because I had a, a guy, you know, guy friends that were really good friends that were best friends. But, um, so we hadn't talked for a long, long time. So when I had a dream about Lindsay, I was like, wow, Lindsay Johnson, what? And so I... You know, I kind of just said, thank you, thank you, Lord, all glory to you for that dream. And, and you know, the other parts of that dream as well, you know, that, that the Lord, that weren't about Lindsay. It was encouraging. Well, little did I know how he was going to confirm it. Um, and I'm about to show you how he confirmed it. So we hadn't talked for years, and I didn't even know she had my email or even knew what I was doing with YouTube or, or what, because I've let go of all my friends and all my family. The Lord has said, don't look back, let go. And, uh, you know, it says in the Bible that if any of you have left your, your um, mom, dad, brothers, sisters, friends, uh, for the gospel's sake, they'll, they'll receive... Um, You know, one of the first things that the Lord told me um, when I first got saved and got the Holy Spirit and started hearing his voice clearly is delete your Facebook. This was before I had a YouTube channel or anything, and I was thinking, oh, all my pictures? Like, I mean, like delete, like all my pictures and like my whole Facebook and, you know, just d don't even tell my friends anything and just leave and... He said, delete your Facebook. And of course, you know, what did I do? I said, okay, I'll deactivate it. You know, I'll, I'll get a couple of pictures off there. And and it was so, he has a way, uh, the Lord God has a way of, of pressing hard on you when he wants something done. And the next couple of days, or I don't know how long it was that I waited, um, but I knew I have to delete my whole Facebook and I can't even save one picture off of there. And so I went on there, and instead of just deactivating it, I, I went and deleted my whole Facebook. And, you know, all of my friends on there have thought I've lost my mind, and, you know, um, they're worried about me, and, you know, uh, you know all these, all these things. But it says in Mark 10, um, you know, when, when Jesus told uh, the rich man to sell everything he has, give up everything, your whole life, and come and follow me and the guy walked away ashamed because he couldn't he couldn't think of losing all of his things and his family and his friends and everything and jesus looking upon them said with men you know because they were like well who can be saved if he said that you know there's no rich people he didn't say there's no rich people but he said it's really hard for rich people to be saved because of all they have and Jesus, you know, they said, well, who then can be saved? And in Mark 10, it says, and Jesus looking upon them saith with, with men, it's impossible, but with, but not with God, with God, all things are possible. Then Peter began to say unto him, lo, we've left all and have followed thee. And, uh, and Jesus answered and said, verily, I say unto you, there is no man that has left his house or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands for my sake and the gospels, but he'll receive a hundredfold now in this time, and houses, and brethren, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands, but with persecutions. And that's the truth. And in the world to come, though, eternal life. But many that are first shall be last, and last shall be first. And it says in Matthew 10 that he that loves his father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. 
And he that loves his son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And that includes friends, of course, if it's saying those things. And he that takes not his cross up and follows after me is not worthy of me. And he that finds his life will lose it. And he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. You know, he, he that tries to save his life will lose it, but he that loses his life for Jesus Christ's sake and for the gospel's sake will find true life. And that's what I've found. And, and you know, nobody can understand why I've left everything. And that's why is because I've gained everything. <laughs> um, but this is how the Lord proved that the dream was from him. Um, I got an email seven days later, and this is what it said. Okay, so you guys remember I just showed you when the recording was, was 7-13-2021, and it says right here, uh, a week later, so seven days later, uh, Lindsay emails me randomly, and she says, hey stranger, thinking of you, just wanted to check in and make sure you're doing okay. I found this photo the other day. Blast from the past. Feels like a whole lifetime ago. I think about you and your family often, often, and I hope everything is doing good. And she doesn't understand this, but I did. That the Lord, God, put a picture of me and her in front of her. I really don't want to show you guys, and you're, you're going to see why. But this is from like 7th or 8th grade. I don't even think it was ninth grade yet. Um, I think it was 7th or 8th grade, maybe ninth grade. I don't know exactly. But um, she, she said a picture got put in front of her. I found this photo the other day. Well, <laughs> the Lord God put it right in front of her because a week earlier I had a dream, you know, that, that needed to be confirmed that it was him. So randomly, she sends me this picture. Guys, don't laugh. This is this is also why I didn't want to make this video. <laughs> I was tiny back in those days. And so, okay, that's enough. And so I'm just going to keep going here and show you. See, I sent her um, the same thing that I showed you guys, right? And then um, this was my response to her. Um, you know, wow, hi, Lindsay, how awesome to receive an email from you. I was just praying for you recently because I was. I just thought about her recently before that. But um, like I said, I've thought about her a couple of times, but I, you know, it's, uh, uh, maybe more than a couple of times, but I haven't said anything about her or, or, you know, had a dream about her or anything. And it says, you're not going to believe this, but I literally just had a dream about you on my birthday on the 13th a week ago, right? Uh, and it was a gift from above. I was so happy, and I thought when I woke up, really, Lindsay Johnson? And now you're emailing me seven days later? So crazy. I just sent you a screenshot of proof because uh, I was not sure if you knew that I had a YouTube channel. Um, or I'm not sure if you knew I had a YouTube channel and, and that's what I was doing, but if you could watch this whole video I'm about to send, it would mean so much to me. I know it's long, but maybe you could watch it in parts, like 15 minutes at a time or something. It will show you and explain what I've been up to lately. I know it all sounds crazy, but it's, but all of it is true. And some people have thought I've lost my marbles, <laughs> but that's okay. I haven't. In actuality, I've uh, I've never been thinking so clearly in my life. Thank you, Jesus. I found my purpose. And no drugs, no drama, no depression, no fear of anything happening in the world. Just peace, joy, love, and happiness. I, I should have put in there and sometimes tribulations. Uh, but just being able to give and help people um, instead of what I did my whole life, which was take from people and hurt them. I hope you can see what I mean when I say that, like when she watches the video, um, when you see me in this video. I miss you. I love you so much. Uh, I never forgot about you, sister. Maybe we talk soon. Um, thanks for reaching out and let me know what you think of the video when you watch it. And I said the only way I got peace in my heart and away from, dr uh, and away from the drugs and the pain is putting my faith in Jesus Christ, all glory to God. And so I sent her this email 
um, I'll say that the the dream was true. Uh, after she watched the video, what, the video I sent her was um, the the video I sent her was my testimony video. It's like two hours long, and it's on YouTube. It says um, the t my testimony of receiving uh, the Holy Spirit, and um, so I sent her a couple of pictures. I'm just going to share these with you guys too because I wanted her to understand how real you know God is. I, I took these pictures. Um, when I first got saved, I, I heard the Lord, I was reading my Bible on my, on my, um, bed and I heard go outside and look in the sky. And I said, I thought maybe it was Satan saying that to me, trying to get me away from reading my Bible. And, uh, and then I heard it really firmly and sternly go outside and look in the sky. And when I went outside, this is what I saw. And um, I don't know if you all can see it, but um, that blew my mind, seeing a face in the sky like that. So I ran in and got my camera and took this picture. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. All glory to God. And so, like I said, the end of that conversation uh, on, on email was, uh, uh, we'll just say that she didn't believe uh, uh, you know, what I was saying. She was happy that I was, you know, off of drugs and, and healthy, but, uh, you know, we'll, that's what we'll say. But, uh, uh, hopefully, you know, I, I believe that the Lord confirming it in, in that way is showing exactly what's going to happen in the future. Um, and so, Lord, we pray for Lindsay to um, come to the knowledge of the truth. We all agree in prayer for her to come to the knowledge of the truth and for her to be saved and um, and for uh, for her, her soul to be saved in the end, Lord, and for her to accept you as her Savior in the end um, and, and uh, for you to get the glory, Lord, and not for me to get any glory because I don't want any, Lord, for you to get all the glory when these things come to pass. Uh, um, that you want for her in Jesus name amen I believe through faith that she'll be saved uh, because I have a feeling I will be showing up to her um, you can't you know there's no way that anybody can say that that's possible that I have a dream about her like that and then a week later uh, she's emailing me that's impossible and um, if you can't see it I don't that's how the Lord uh, speaks and so this is the next part of this video is that um, the Lord wants me to share now a dream that happened uh, uh, not too long ago just like a week or two ago or less uh, we'll see the date here in a second on it, uh, the recording. But uh, you know, this next dream came at a time of I was in distress. I was in a trial. I was in tribulation. You know, somebody I love dearly, uh, you know, rejecting me and having to fight all the thoughts of, of condemnation and, and, you know, uh, uh, worries of, am I even, you know, doing this all right? Or do I got, and, and once I finally said, I'm not going to budge, I hear you, Lord, telling me, don't budge on anything. He told me, stay steadfast. Do you believe? Do you trust me? These are the things that the Lord says to me when I'm going through trials. Do you trust me? And that's him saying in a kind way, you're not trusting me. <laughs> you're not believing. It says without faith, it's impossible to please him. So when, he, when you hear the Lord God asking you, do you trust me? You better start putting up, you know, a uh, a, a guard and, and, and start having all these scriptures come to your mind that uh, we will not be moved, you know, um, staying steadfast in our faith. And like, 
with the scripture what did we read earlier in this video is is holding forth the word of life that you may rejoice in the day of christ you know that that we have not run in vain or neither labored in vain and it says in hebrews 6 um, for god is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which you have showed towards his name and that you have ministered to the saints and do minister and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of the hope unto the end, all the way into the end, that you be not slothful, but be followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Through faith and through patience is how we'll inherit the promise. Uh, and all the promises. It says in 1 Corinthians 15, But thanks be unto God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. we got to stand on these promises and these scriptures. Because that's what they're there for. And when he asks you, do you trust me? He's wanting you to pull out your, your sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And stand on these, on, on the word of God. Not what, you know, it, it's not what uh, uh, the enemy tells you who you are. It's not what the world tells you who you are. It's who are you to the Lord Jesus Christ. It says our lives are hid with Christ in God. Our lives, our identity, who we truly are is hid in him, in Jesus. So it doesn't matter uh, uh, what's said about you. All that matters is what God says about you. Because we shouldn't seek commendation and... and and, uh, um, you know, our approval from men, but our approval from God. And so I'm, I'm going to say again, any sisters, because there's sisters that have said bad things about me or thought bad things about me. There's, there's brothers that have done it. I forgive every single person that's ever thought a bad thought about me or, or, said a bad thing about me. I forgive every single one of you and I pray good and beautiful things for you and your families. Anybody that spoke spite on me, whether it's at the hotel here, or I know they're probably not listening or, or anybody else that's not listening. I, I speak good things and, and peace and joy and salvation over you and your families and your children in Jesus name. And that's from the bottom of my heart because I know who I am. And it's who God says I am, not who I say I am. So I'm going to play another video. Uh, or another uh, uh, dream. You know, it says that he makes his ministers, right? Because it, what we just say is that in Hebrews 6, it says um, that you be not slothful. Uh, or no, hold on. It says, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence full with the full assurance to the end because we've, uh, minister to the saints and do minister and and the the labor of love that we've shown towards the lord's name he won't forget and so what are his ministers his ministers are he it says in in psalm 104 who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flaming fire and to the angels he saith in Hebrews 1, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. And that's what happened in that dream with Lindsay, is I turned into flaming fire in the like across the whole sky. That's what it was. Is exactly what you're looking at on the screen here is shooting stars across the whole sky, though. These ones are small little uh uh tails on them they have a huge tail like across the whole sky um in the dream that i had okay <sighs> let me play this dream <laughs> 